2012, I was the head of product and design for an organization called Khan Academy, an online educational not-for-profit. And it was my job to help the organization come up with a new product strategy that would allow us to serve teachers as well as we had been serving students for the last five years. My team and I spent months together researching, iterating, designing, testing, all kinds of new features. And after about three months, we came up with a plan that we thought was really great. The only obstacle in our way to implementing it was pitching our board of directors on this new strategic plan. One problem with that, I was deathly afraid of speaking in public, like flop sweats afraid of speaking in public. And I remember preparing and preparing for this uh, session. And finally, my colleague Dana, who'd been working with me on the project, turned to me and she said, you know, I give presentations like this all the time. Let me take the lead on it. And with immense relief, I turned over the responsibility of leading that presentation to Dana. Even though I wasn't presenting anymore, I was still nervous going into the session. And I remember walking into the room unsure about what the result would look like. But over the course of the next two hours, Dana did such an amazing job presenting our work that I was 99% sure that the board was gonna give us the green light for the work that we had planned. And I walked out of that room sort of on cloud nine. And I remember Dana tapping me on the shoulder and asking me if I had a second. We stepped into an office and she said, hey, Jason, I'm really curious to know how you think that meeting went. And I offered her superlatives. I was like, you are amazing. I'm so excited. And as I'm saying this, I noticed that she's relaxing, which sort of catches me off guard. But then she says something that helps it make sense. She said, you know, I'm really glad to hear you say that because I looked over at you a bunch of times during the talk and you look pissed off. Honestly, I thought I was really screwing it up and you were mad at me. And as that was settling in, she said, and I noticed other people noticing you look pissed off and I'm worried it might have affected the support you were trying to show me during that conversation and show the work that we had done. And she wasn't done. She said, and I'm sure, I'm sure that that wasn't your intention. And that's exactly why I'm having this conversation with you because maybe it's just me, but maybe it's not. And I knew exactly what I needed to do. I walked back to my team uh, and I met later with my, my boss, Sal, and I asked them, have you all ever noticed that sometimes my face and my words don't say the same thing? And they said, oh, of course we have. We call that your thinking face. So I was like, great, not only has this happened before, but it's happened enough times that my team has given it a name. And I was really frustrated in that moment. So what I did was the thing we all do when we get feedback we don't love is I went home and I complained about it to my partner, Jillian. And as I'm recounting the story to her, she starts to chuckle and she says, Jason, of course, this is a problem. For as long as I've known you, when you're doing something that requires your full concentration, it looks like you're in physical pain. It was in that moment, after 15 people on the same day had given me the same feedback, that I realized just how valuable and how kind the feedback that Dana had given me actually was. Not only did she show that she cared about me personally, by coming to me, speaking to me directly about it, and offering me the out of this not being my intention, but also she was clear enough with me that I could actually follow up on that feedback and learn something from it. And I'm still applying the learning from that feedback to this day. I'm a better leader and a better communicator because of it.